Keeping an open eye on Israel's northern border, the defense minister Moshe Yelon chose the central West Bank to give his toast for the upcoming Jewish New Year. Even though there is a chance we might see a military action in the next few weeks led by the U.S., as we were prepared in the past days, we are ready today and in the future for any event. After a short briefing with a regional IDF commander, Yelon referred to the possible threats Israel faces and emphasized its citizens should remain calm. Since the American decision to delay the attack, we have decided to release reserve troops at this stage. Israeli citizens can remain calm, quietly celebrate the holidays, and there is no need to hurry and acquire gas masks. This is neither the issue nor the threat. He also said Israel would not take part in any plan to attack Syria and stressed that the Israeli government will not intervene in the American decision-making as it awaits the U.S. congressional debate. With the Iranian issue still on the agenda, the minister reminded that the Israeli-American collaboration on the matter remains firm and Israel continues to believe in President Obama's commitment to prevent Iran from reaching nuclear abilities. He also mentioned the joint military exercise today. Indeed, a successful experiment was made to inspect our systems and we will continue to develop, research and equip the IDF with the best systems in the world. Israeli ministers and leaders are seizing the opportunity of uh, Rosh Hashanah, the uh, beginning of the Jewish holidays, to send out a clear message. Uh, here in Bet El, the Israeli settlement in the central region of the West Bank, the defense minister Moshe Yalon, uh, in his toast, he uh, once again stressed that Israel uh, remains strong and will continue to confront its uh, enemies all over the region. With an upcoming week of holidays, the Israelis, for now, can take a deep breath.